Hello everybody, Papa Lou shirt. I'm going to cut my cabbage on the soil that I've grown for seven times. Seven times in a row without getting brand new dirt. Stay tuned for this episode. Yeah, so I've been able to grow this uh, cabbage seven times using the same using the same soil. And uh, if you know the process that I use, I'll go through it here. So, you, so in case you want to try it, let's go ahead and uh, cut my cabbage. What you need to do is cut it flush with the surface of the soil. So once I have it flush, I remove as much as I can. Then once you get that all done, you uh, take a little bit of my seed starter. You just put a thin layer on top just to just to cover everything up. And then I water it in. Once it's watered in, then I uh, take some DE just to cover everything up. All right, there you have it. I got these neat little angle scissors I've been using. I wish they were longer so I could take more of a bite, but these work really good to get down in the corners. And I'll put a link for that in the description. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth time. The eighth time I planted this. And as you see, the soil is still looks really good. And the neat thing about when you cut it flush is uh, what makes this process work is because I have worms in the trays and it leaves that plant matter down there so it can begin to decay and that'll feed the worms. I can show you here's one that I did the other day. As you can see, it's germinated really nice. Yeah. We've got it for the eighth time. You know, I mean, the biggest uh, expense other than the seed is the soil, having to, to re replenish the soil every time, you know. And you can, you know, take it and put it in a bucket and wait a month and for it to break down and then stir it up and then reuse it. But what's the point in doing all that when you can just do this? Just put some worms in a tray and uh, you put those in there and they'll just keep multiplying inside there. They'll only grow as big as the container that they're in. So uh, there's no chance of it being overpopulated. And uh, They'll lay eggs all in it, and then once it does fill all the way to the top, then I can put it over here, and that'll be an explosion of uh, worms. I did that once with one of my trays, and I couldn't believe it. After like two or three weeks, it was just an explosion of worms, thousands of worms. The egg somehow senses a change of the environment, and they all hatch. And uh, so it works out really good. So that's how we reuse our soil. And uh, it's really the biggest expense is on the soil part now is the seed starter and you, you just use this a little thin layer I usually use this little thing here it's usually about half or three quarters of the way full and uh, so a bag that I buy will last me for weeks and weeks and weeks and the soil lasts me for you know six or eight months now so uh, the cabbage uh, it takes about 10 days each time so it's been it's been 80 days at least because sometimes they don't get it right away so yeah saves me a lot of money and that's what this is all about so all righty well this is Papa Blue Shirt and I appreciate you coming along with me and uh I encourage you to try out my method because it really works you know everyone does the same thing on the internet it seems like everyone does the same thing and you know if you do the same thing you're always going to get the same results and I like to change it up you know I figure you know if someone's done something there might be a way to improve it and we may be able to change the whole process of growing and if we didn't do that we'd still be uh, plowing with horses you know <laughs> someone had an idea one day to make a tractor and alrighty well this is Papa Blue Shirt thanks for watching